back to a new uh, Terraria video. Uh, so hopefully in today's video, I have a plan up to what I want to have accomplished by the end of this video. Not so sure if we're going to be able to get to it. Just because this is in a master mode and things are going to take a little bit longer to get going. But I think the end goal of today's episode is to construct the slime crown and defeat King Slime. Now hopefully we're going to be able to do that. Uh, so I, as you can see on my screen, I changed a few of the settings. Uh, a viewer mess reached out to me and told me how to change the UI settings so I can actually see what's going on, so you guys can see what's going on. He also suggested um, other things that I can do to improve the quality of the video, uh, so it's not as laggy looking. Uh, I'm a, I, I've done a few of them, but. There's one said to turn off the backgrounds, and I'm not so sure if I want to do that just because the backgrounds are, are I feel, really make up Terraria because they show a lot about where you are in the world. But we'll see. I might have to turn it off just so we can have a better, better quality video so it runs a lot smoother. As you can see, though, I'm being attacked by a bunch of raincoat zombies, so that's great. But I'm so excited to actually be able to see what's in my inventory now. Uh, he also, the viewer, told me about, I can apparently turn this wooden boomerang into the enchanted boomerang. But I'm trying my best not to look at the wiki. I'm going to try to do things in game, if that possible. So that means I gotta wait for the guide to come back. So I think what's gonna, what I'm gonna do is, I think there's only, there's two zombies here, but there's one, only one here. So I'm gonna try to get rid of him. So we can, uh out of here oh almost got him all right you're good to go uh the same viewer also told me a few other things that are, are that are new like uh affirming to me that the uh, step stool thing is brand new so that's pretty nice uh, if you guys have any suggestions for me or any comments like that, please leave them in the comment section below. I love reading comments and it makes me feel good that these videos are uh, reaching out to people and people are seeing them. Just leaving any comment really, unless it's like a first or, or memes, those aren't as appreciated. But if you have like constructive criticism or any thoughts or just want to say thanks for the video then please leave that in the comments below so yeah the the main goal is to try and defeat king slime today so we're going to try that i think there's going to be a, a bit more editing done in this video just so it's possible last video i got done in about an hour's worth of gameplay but i think this one's going to take a lot longer uh okay he's just gonna run away that's fine Let's keep going and try to find... Oh, is that the, uh, one flower? Oh, it is! That's pretty nice, they changed the marigold texture. Uh, I would hope, I hope it stops raining. But yeah, we're gonna... First thing we're gonna do is find, try and find a cave that has a lot of wars in it, so... Uh, looks like we might have one right here that we can use. Because we're gonna need uh, we're gonna need gold first of all for the crown itself. Then eventually we're gonna need to find either the corruption or the crimson that we have in this world to use the demon altar or crimson altar to create the uh, slime crown. Man, I should have checked out this one earlier. It has another chest. What are we gonna get? Oh, nice. I'll, I'll gladly take that and a mining potion. So that's gonna help out with. Uh, Finding the ores. Oh, I'm still gotta get used to that new step still thing. What? Okay, that's just a vine in there. Okay, I had to lean in with my my head to see what that was. Uh, let's go up here. That just goes up there, so I don't think there'll be anything there. There's some gems here that might be helpful. Let me make some more torch. Enchanted Nightcrawler, what do you... Uh, oh. 
interesting. We do not have a bow. That's probably something we should make as well. Um. Oh, I can make it on me right now. Okay. Let's do that. Before we go down and get attacked by literally everything that lives in caves. <laughs> let's uh make make a wooden bow. Slide it there. Have the axe inventory. And let's make the enchanted boomerang. So it's just a fallen star and a wooden boomerang. Nice. That'll help out trying to keep stuff away from us. Jeff is here. And let's those don't give any defense. Wow. Uh then let's just make that and this. I think there's a set bonus, right? Yeah, set bonus of another defense. So now we have three defense. So we're slightly we're we're getting there. We're we're doing better. Uh let's probably also make just two of these it looks like. Just so we can get our mana going too, because eventually we'll in this playthrough we're gonna be just using any weapon that we can get. So if there's a really powerful mana weapon, we'll probably want to use that. Uh I don't see anything else that we need as of right now maybe just a few more platforms we have one in our inventory that should be good uh let's take this with us this is gonna be a bit slow so i'll cut right here so if i find anything if anything happens or if i find anything cool i'll cut back in but i'm basically just gonna be mining for the rest of this so i'll be back with you guys soon Okay, so I just cut for like two seconds and just found another chest. It was literally in that one spot that had the topaz that was right here. Let's see what's inside. A ton of throwing knives. Wow. Probably use those instead of the shurikens just because there's more of them. I apologize if I said that wrong. Got more arrows, so that would be good for the bow. Got a shine potion. It looked like just more recall potions, so that's pretty good. We also have nine lead bars on us, so... That's why we could, that's why it said we can make the anvil close on us. Nice. All right. I will cut out again here and see if I can find anything else that's really cool. Huh. As you can see, I just stumbled onto a dart trap without realizing it, even though after not realizing it, I saw the dart trap and then I just stepped on the pressure plate. That's awesome. But we did get some cobwebs, so I'm just going to head back to this cave as soon as I respawn and we're going to try our mining expedition once again. Oh, I saw him, I saw him blink. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, I'll be right back. Oh nice, it looks like we just found one of those new gem trees. I think this is going to be ruby, so that'd be really nice, because we're going to need that for the slime crown. Got to get down here without dying. Alright, let's see what it is. Uh, going to get I really like the color of the wood. That'd be really nice if the actual wood was... Oh, it was a stone. And yes, it was a ruby tree. So, doesn't look like we got any rubies though. We just got that. Not sure what to do with it besides just replant it. So I'm just gonna hold on to it, try and plant it on the surface. Now that we found that though, I'll cut right here again and just keep on exploring. Thank you. 
Yay, we finally found our first heart crystal, and I had to dodge over a boulder for it. That's awesome. Uh, I'm probably going to leave that potion here. Let's get to that heart crystal. We won't die as easily anymore. <laughs> da -da -da. Oh, that one, I, that boulder actually gave me the... Yay! Now I have 120 life. Life? I mean health. How did I say life? Uh, other things that happen, I noticed that I could actually make these other, some of these other gem corns. So I made a topaz and amethyst. I found sapphire so we can make a sapphire one now. And I just found some more amethyst. So I'm going to put this in the trash for, for now. I saw that there's some lead up here. Because apparently so far in this world we have copper, we have lead, and we have tun skin. Oh no. Get away. Get away. No. Get away, slime. I'm talking to the people. Don't kill me. But yeah, this enchanted boomerang has paid off a lot. I'm probably going to include a clip where I, I defended myself against like... Well, I felt like eight, but it was more like five slimes trying to get to this slime statue because I like collecting the statues. Get out of here. No, no, you're not allowed to kill me. All right, we're going to head back up to the surface. One thing you might notice as well, I did turn off the backgrounds like that one viewer suggested. It has made it so my game is running a lot smoother. Probably not being picked up by OBS all the way. Uh, I'm going to fiddle with the settings afterwards and do some Googling afterwards to see how to better uh, run OBS on my uh, on my computer. But anyhow, let's uh, put away all this stuff hopefully. Oh, that was the wrong button. Oh, we have, don't have anything sorted away. I was carrying everything. Okay, let's uh, give me a second, and I'm gonna I'm gonna sort through our stuff and put them in spots that will hopefully help me find them in the future. All right, so I've cleaned up my inventory. I put the just normal blocks there. Put like building materials in that one. Put all like the nature related things in this one. Uh, this one has all the gems and ores. This one has all the potion related things. This one's empty for right now. And this one's my random shelf. I also put down the two chests that we had gotten while exploring and mining. I think first order of business, Jeff, is to clear out these zombies so they stop making so much noise. Get out of here. Come on, come on. Okay, I was able to get out the door. That's good. There we go, all right. Get them out so I hopefully don't have to listen to them make so much noise anymore. All right, let's talk to Jeff. Jeff is almost half dead, or he is half dead. Let's talk about him about happiness. He says, getting this place to myself, I greatly appreciate it. I'm quite fond of wandering through. I like it here, nice. What can I craft, Jeff, I guess with this? Wow, okay, showing me hard mode. Hard mode stuff already, nice. Make the sun plate blocks and vault now, okay, cool. Looks like they've had their texture changed as well. Gold starry and blue starry? What the heck are these? That's glass and a fallen star, and that's glass and a fallen star. Interesting. Didn't know that. Alright. Probably another thing we need to do is just quickly make all the different uh, workstations, so let's do that. First one you want to probably make is the furnace, but I don't believe I have enough stone. Yeah, I don't have enough stone. Alright. And not be able to make the different stations, because I need this. I need the furnace to uh, be able to make the other ones, because I need the smelt uh, iron and stuff. I think the first one we'll make then is the anvil. It says I can make that right now. Wish you could place the anvil on like the crafting table, on the crafting station. Can't. What is this? Crate? Because only liquid stew can be toggled. They're great. Okay. Uh, we'll need the chain. 
Okay, maybe we can make literally everything but the furnace. Alright. Need wood. Probably some stone. Do those cobwebs that I put away. So hopefully we'll be able to make a bed as well. Let's see. Sawmill. This allows us to make the loom. Awesome. Loom allows us to now make silk. Oh, what? Oh, that's right. I didn't have the wood. Okay, we do now have a furnace. Uh, I'll place it right there. Hopefully that still allows that door to be open. But I'm... <laughs> okay, that's four. Is that enough? No, I think you need five or ten, I believe. So we're like one to four... One, one to six short of silk, which means we needed more cobwebs, but that looks like they'll be good for now. Let's see, does this door open? That's my first question. Yes, it does still open now. I walked through it, did not close, so that's that's a thing. Oh man, this enchanted boot is so good. Let me turn it off smart first. Okay, so it does open and close even if it's right there. That's so so handy. I'm so glad they added that. Um, all right, so I think I'm gonna cut right here and come up with another game plan as to how to get to the King Slime by the end of this episode. <sighs> as you can see, I died. I just lost the gold that I forgot to put away, but I now have my game plan. We're gonna smelt up all the ore that we have now that we have a furnace. I'm gonna try to make a better pickaxe, probably. And then we're just gonna head back to the mines because we should. We'll need more gel and we'll need gold or platinum, whichever one we have in this world. Then after that, we'll make an arena for King Slime. But now that I remember that we now have those gem trees after I fight these zombies. I think what I want to do is actually make a gem tree forest. I think that would be super cool. I might have to look up if NPCs can live in that kind of a biome though. Like if I put a bunch of those trees around, what is it what is the game considered to be? I guess also I should probably the only other thing I'll look up is actually see where I plant them. I think we'll do a quick twist. Uh do a quick test with all of y'all to see what happens I think you just planted on stone so let me just grab let's see if it's uh if that's just it it just plants on stone and my game the game on OBS looks super choppy I'm so sorry for that I'm going to definitely after this episode uh, try my try my best to fix it. All right, but, uh, let's see the topaz one because I know we have a ton of topaz. Well, more than the rest. Let's smelt these up. Yeah, smelt that up to get the copper. Off the lead. Let's get one. Oh, we got two of those. Okay, nice. Over to the anvil. Let's make, make a lead pickaxe. Means we can now get rid of this one. Man, the zombies are. Oh, no, Jeff, don't go out there. You're gonna die. No, Jeff! Uh, anyway, uh, Jeff is probably dead. But, let's see. We can also make a lead bow, but I think I'll hold off on that. Uh, we can't make any iron. We can make a weather vane, though. Okay. Yeah, we just need to get more stuff. Let me put all that away. Slow way, apparently. God, I could shift click them all. That's, that's fine. Uh, let's let's go on the other side of the house. Actually, there's some spot spot cleared out. Could uh, or better yet, I'm just gonna knock down this tree. I didn't get anything from this. Bummer. But knock that one down. Clear 
clear out this land, make it flat. Out three spots for the stone. It only needs three, and then let's plant this tree. Heck yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's a windy day. Look at all these trees. Look at everything. It's all windy and moving around and stuff. Let's see if that grows. If it does, it'd be awesome. Cause yeah, I've, I don't know. I think it'd be super nice to live in kind of like an enchanted forest area. That's kind of like the, like a pre-mode, kind of like a pre-mode uh, hollow biome, but with these new trees. Cause I think they look super nice. I don't know if there's a way for me to speed up how it grows, but at least it planted. There's that. Uh, I think the one other thing I'm gonna do right now, actually, shooting at. Oh, there's just a slime out there. The thing I'm gonna do right now is try and make a wooden hammer, because this has been driving me crazy. I accidentally placed the wall in the wrong spot. Now we can finally get rid of it, and I can now slope these things. Oh, what? Why can't I slope it? Oh, I'll, I'll leave that one. Make our house look ever so better. Ever so better. I don't think that's proper English, but I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> there we go. It has 16 speed to it, but it's just because it's a wooden axe. It's so slow. Man, Terraria looks really different when you turn. That's a gold bunny! Ah! Oh. Uh, this is awkward. Uh. 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 I don't have a way to get him. Uh, I probably need to build another house. But that's not the point of today's episode. Today, we're just gonna try and focus on getting King Slime. So. Next order of business. I'm going to head back to the mines and try and find as much ore as possible. So, uh, I think either this is going to be a cut or this is going to be a bit of a time lapse. We'll see. If I can't get the time lapse to work, this will just be a cut. But I'll be right back with you guys after I go on another mining expedition.
guys enjoyed the time lapse hopefully if not then welcome one second from the last clip where i mentioned it so this is probably going to be the end of the video right here but the last few things i wanted to do before ending is just update you on the fact that i was unable to get the amount of gold that i thought i was going to get that's a bit of a bummer i th i believe we have enough to make the crown now so let's probably do that i found some rubies in hopefully that time lapse if not off camera and i've also been mining a ton of other resources and stuff that's why my inventory is full found a diamond tree which that was super cool uh the one tree we planted out here for instance uh it still has not grown so maybe it has to be grown underground i don't i'm gonna look it up after recording this uh so the one let's do the two things we can do right now so let's make go over here and make that crown there it is gold crown oh it only takes five gold okay so we have enough stuff that we can make several if we need to just now hop up here that stuff away i found some demonite as well i was using bombs in the uh, hopefully the time lapse i keep saying that i really hope i i get it i'm recording all this before i do the editing so i'll have to see got some heal normal healing potions those will come out um handy later also found two life crystals so let's eat, eat those now we are up to 160 health heck yeah uh all right now instead of being able to make the gold armor we're gonna have to make tongue skin armor which is slightly worse i'm at the wrong station again slightly worse but it should help us out and maybe we'll have enough to make some of these other tools like a new pickaxe but we'll see let's definitely make the helmet sh uh, the shirt chain mail and the greaves those on and we should now have 18 defense which is awesome it, the reason why this is all shiny is i have a, a splunker potion i ate off camera uh all right so what can we still make we can make an axe broadsword a short sword or a bow um that does four range damage this does 10 we will definitely definitely want a bow as well for that range damage for the king slime can teleport to you now they apparently have fixed the glitch where you could just stand on a or climb up a tall rope and just sit up there that's been fixed so i never used it actually i always just made like an arena thing which is what we're going to do in the next episode because this is where i'm calling it thank you for watching i'm going to make that invisible and make that invisible and make that invisible you can see the thing a lot better whenever we finally get the skeletron which should be in a few episodes from now we'll definitely get the clothe the air clother and buy the familiar clothes so we can actually see what our character looks like again but yeah thanks for watching uh i won't do anything off camera this time between episodes because my family and i are going on a little bit of trip so i won't have time to do that but whenever we come back, I'll start working on the next episode. So the whenever this episode comes out, hopefully in a couple of days, since the day I'm recording it, and then there'll be a kind of a longer gap than between this one and the last one. Oh, well, I'll end it here, sitting on this chair. Thanks for watching. Like I said a couple times now, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.